Note, please watch the whole video before jumping to conclusions or going to the comments and acting like you've seen it. Sorry, Tatians Warren fam, yours truly Simon A. And this is a pretty serious video as it talks about my ongoing situation with YouTube, marking some of my videos as made for kids, and how this is going to affect the future of my channel, and what's to come later on. But first, we have to get back to the beginning. It all started back in 2020, when YouTube made a lot of changes to their platform to comply with the Children's Online Privacy Protection Act, or COPPA for short. And in doing so, creators like myself have to determine whether or not their content is made for kids. Naturally, I set my channel as to not made for kids because, well, obviously not everything that I post there is intended for children to watch. And for a while, it's been pretty fine. I mean, only like one or two videos have been marked as made for kids by YouTube, but uh, that was pretty much it. Until last year in October, when I got an email from YouTube saying that uh, that they marked several of my videos as made for kids, and I was worried that this was going to affect the future of my channel. Until I decided to appeal as many as possible, and I managed to significantly reduce the amount of videos that were marked as made for kids. And then I got an idea to how to bypass that made for kids label by starting off some of my videos with an anti copa meme featuring Peter Griffin from Family Guy. Hey, hang on, Cotter. I think I know how to take this guy down. Fuck me! I should also point out that that meme came from a user named Random Cartoon Fan, so shout out to them. And yes, I did ask permission. Nevertheless, it actually worked. I was able to go throughout most of 2024 without my videos game marked as made for kids. Sure, every now and then, like, there were videos with that meme that got marked as made for kids, but all I had to do was mention that the F word is heard at the beginning in my appeal, and, well, it got fixed. And that's pretty much how my content has been for a while. Until this past October, almost a whole year since I got that dreaded email, when uh, up to like 36 or 39 more of my videos were marked as made for kids. Of course, like before, I appealed as many as possible and mentioned that some swear words are heard at the beginning and it's not for kids to watch. You think it would work this time, right? <laughs> Wrong! No, it didn't. In fact, only one video managed to get unmarked. And it wasn't even a video that had swear words. It was just a Nickelodeon Kids Choice Awards video from 2017. So I decided to take my appeal even further by emailing YouTube uh, through their support chat about it, telling them why this can't be marked as made for kids. And I thought it was going to work at first, but then this is where the huge bombshell dropped. I got an email saying that YouTube removed my content and two of my videos were removed by YouTube for violating child safety. One was a recent musical crossover from this year, which had that Peter Griffin meme, and another was my Halloween compilation from 2017. Yes, the, the same one that originally ended with Peter Griffin saying, Happy Halloween, fuckface! YouTube removed two of my videos recently for violating child safety, even though I made it clear in my appeal that I did not intend it to, you know, you know, target this video towards kids. And, you know, I even set the video as not made for kids, but YouTube did not listen. And so, in less than 15 minutes, they removed two of my videos. So I did what any YouTuber would do, and panicked and removed other videos that I probably emailed them about, thinking that they were going to remove those videos one by one. Okay, that's not really what any YouTuber would do, but... Uh, yeah, I was legit worried when this happened, cause this is the this was literally the first time since 2021 that YouTube removed a video of mine for any reason. Thankfully, YouTube hasn't removed any more videos since then. And just to clarify, I did not get a strike. Heck, they even said they're not gonna give me a strike, but they did give me a warning, and a warning that now is set to expire on January 15 next year. 
And of course, I already took that policy training and answered those questions. But uh, yeah, for the first time, it actually didn't work, that anti-YouTube kids meme. So as a result, as of that moment, I made the decision to officially discontinue using an anti-YouTube kids meme to bypass the made for kids label and, you know, still keep all the comments and stuff on my videos. In fact, I already went ahead and edited out every single video that had that exact meme. And as I mentioned before, I deleted a couple of videos that I emailed YouTube about because I was afraid that they would go after those videos as well. Don't worry, because I was smart enough to download those videos and save them before I did that. And in fact, I'm going to be re-uploading them later on this month. Nevertheless, I know some of you are probably going to be happy that I'm discontinuing the meme because you don't like swear words and oh my god, you're supposed to be a family-friendly channel with blah blah blah. Hooray! I have to be more careful now. I mean, even though it was very effective, I, I realized it was not exactly a responsible thing to do. Because I, I should have probably figured it out that YouTube was eventually going to catch on to what I've been doing. At this moment... I think I have no choice but to just accept what YouTube um, is doing just on my videos and just, I guess, move on. I know you're probably going to be all like, Oh my god, Simon, I can't believe it. You're so weak. Why are you giving up? It's like, no, shut up. I'm not giving up. See, because this was never really a fight. It was just me wanting to keep the same setting on my videos. Because, well, yeah, sure. My channel's name does have the word baby in it. And yes, I do use a shit ton of clips from kids shows and stuff for my content. The point is my channel has always been something not just for kids, but for everyone, even adults. Now you probably think that like I'm just giving up or something, but no. I'm trying to be responsible about this. When I posted about this incident about YouTube removing my content on Instagram, some people thought I needed help and wanted to like, you know, tag YouTube and on their social media accounts and like, you know, harass them and stuff and like, that's fucking stupid. I mean, no, I'm not saying I need help. This is not going to be another stupid hashtag save BLC campaign. Yeah, that's right. I call this stupid. As much as I appreciated what everyone was doing during that campaign, what was the, what was the whole point of it? I mean, because like, what's YouTube going to do? I mean, do you really think YouTube's going to see people, like, posting hashtag save BLC and, as if they're going to, like, bring my channel back or something? I mean, yeah, I, I know. It was in the heat of the moment before when my channel was one copyright strike away from being terminated. But that was three years ago, as I'm a lot more mature now than I was before, for the most part. And I have to take a more adult approach to this, and that is... I have to keep moving forward in spite of this. I can't try to fight this anymore when all I'm doing is putting my channel more at a risk of having more videos removed and possibly getting deleted. And believe me, that's the last thing I want because, you know, this YouTube channel is my livelihood and I enjoy making content. But I have to make the right decision to, that way my videos could stay intact. At this point, I don't care anymore if more videos got marked as made for kids and if the comments got removed and people can't save them to playlists and stuff. I don't care about that shit anymore. I mean, it's going to be disappointing, but I'd rather a video get marked as made for kids than to have it be moved by YouTube for violating child safety laws. Now, I'm not going to go as far as to say that like this is the end of the situation or anything, Nothing like that at all. It's more so the fact that I know how to take care of the situation on my own. I don't need another campaign or something to, like, save my channel when it isn't really going to do much. I mean, because I have to make the right decision. I want to make sure that my YouTube channel stays up for as long as possible, even if a lot more videos get marked. I've been taking a lot of time to analyze any mistakes I've made, to be more careful with how I post stuff, 
And I even reached out to some other people I know who also had to deal with more or less the same shit as me. As a matter of fact, I've reached out to my good friend Ryan Boyd, aka Caloric Leader 9 Productions, and he had this to say. Despite YouTube and its flaws, I just continue forward because despite whatever comes my way, I don't give up on my passion, and that's making people happy. No matter how many subscribers I get, no matter who likes my videos, or no matter if I have to unfortunately follow YouTube's ridiculously new policy, I do this because, well, it's fun. It's my passion. And no matter what gets in my way, I'm not going to give up on my passion. And neither should you. Our work inspires people. And I think that's what we should focus on. Just because YouTube has a new policy does not mean you should change anything about yourself. Yeah. Very wise words from my good friend Ryan. And yeah, I have to keep moving forward. I'm not going to let something like this stop me from making content. I mean, Baby Lamb Creations is still going to be Baby Lamb Creations. I just have to be a lot more careful now. And I will. Whenever something like this happens, I want to think of this as an experience. That way I know exactly what to do to avoid something like this happening again. However, that's another thing I want to talk about. And that's the future of this channel. Now, for one thing, I recently graduated from college. And because of that, that means I have to get an actual job. You know, focus more on my future. And while I do enjoy making videos, I have to be straight up. Babylon Creations is not my future. I mean, and by that I mean, it's obviously not a career. I do not make money from this, from this uh, YouTube channel. That and also my videos haven't really been doing too well recently in terms of views and comments and stuff. I have to focus more on my future. And so there's, a, there's probably going to be a chance that in the future, I'm not going to really focus much on stuff that 100% requires stuff from kids shows, but more so original stuff, stuff that I actually put effort into. Like piano videos, skits, and of course my web series, Baby Lamb and Friends. I just have to focus on what I want to do with my life. I'm not going to quit YouTube. I'm not retiring. No, no way. Because my channel's going to turn 10 years old in two years. And I want to make sure I'm around and my channel's around so we can celebrate it. And believe me, I have a lot of plans for that. But, uh, yeah. So what am I trying to say from all this? All I can say is I might be posting a lot less than before because I have to focus on my future. But I'm not going to give up making videos even if this setback has happened. I don't need saving or anything like that. I just have to keep moving forward. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I think this will probably be the last COPPA related video I'll ever make on this YouTube channel because... Quite frankly, I'm getting sick and tired of talking about it. So, yeah. Hope you all understand, and, uh, yeah. <laughs>